Hi there fellow explorers! Welcome back to my channel Glow Glossip. Today we're embarking on an exciting journey as we dive deep into the heart of Tirana, the vibrant capital city of Albania. From its rich history to its modern charms, we are about to uncover the hidden gems that make the city truly unique. So grab your virtual passports, hit the subscribe button and let's unreveal the secrets of Tirana together! If you haven't watched the last 4 episodes from this series, don't worry, I have left the links in the description below. And this is the map of the journey we have done so far. Albania is our 5th Balkan country that we have visited so far. And in total, we have traveled 1366 kilometers. Wow, that's a lot. This is Montenegro's border, from which we are going to be exiting Montenegro. And now we're going to be entering Albania. Look at Tigger, she's surprised to know that this is the first country she's visiting in the Balkans. And she's proud of it. On our way, we stopped at this masjid for namaz. After almost a one hour drive, we reached Shakodar. This city has a really rich history that dates back to ancient times. It has been influenced by various civilizations, including the Romans, Byzantines, and the Ottomans. As you can see, Tigger loves taking naps on the dashboard. The city is near the borders with Montenegro on the shores of the Lake Shakodar, which is the largest lake in the Balkans. The Buna River, which originates from the lake, flows through the city. The city is well connected by roads. After almost a half hour drive, we reached the city called Shenzhen. Tiger is still taking her morning nap. This city was near the beach, so we decided to check one out. Look at her eyes, you can tell she's gonna sleep. Albania has some beautiful beaches with golden sand and crystal clear blue water. But here's the thing, in winter these beaches look a bit lonely because it's not the season for sunbathing and swimming. During the summer the beaches come alive with people enjoying in the sun, building sand castles and splashing in the sea. The warm weather makes everything more vibrant and colorful. You can feel the excitement in the air as as family and friends gather to have great time. The beaches in Albania are like a hidden treasure waiting to be discovered during the summer months. It's the perfect time for beach picnics, play beach volleyball and taking long walks along the shore. The sunsets are magical, painting the sky in shades of orange and pink. So even though the beaches might look a bit quiet in the winter, just wait until summer rolls around. That's when they truly come to life. As we entered into the beautiful city of Tirana, we decided to go to the Tirana Ring Center. It's a huge mall. It was like stepping into a shopping wonderland. One of the coolest things was that we found a euro shop inside. You know those places where everything costs just one euro? It was filled up with all sorts of interesting things. As we entered, there were a lot of snacks. Everything there just cost 1 euro and they had all sorts of cool stuff from toys and gadgets to snacks and small decorations. It was so fun exploring the interesting items without spending too much money. 
you could find little spices around every corner, making it a cool spot to hang out and see what catches your eye. Plus, with everything priced at just one euro, it felt like mini adventure to find the hidden treasures. Albania's official currency is Albanian black, but most of the time they also accept euros. As for language, the national language is Albanian. The most of the majority speaks Albanian and it's the language used for official communication, education and media. It might sound a bit different from English, but don't worry, many Albanians are pretty good at speaking English. So if you're a tourist and you want to ask some direction or order some tasty food, you can often do it in English without any problems. It makes things easy and fun for visitors exploring the beauty of this country. I see find this halal pizza shop and now we're going to try pizza. So guys, the pizza was so good that we had to order another one. It's a cheese pizza and I love cheese pizza. Overall, we had a blast at this mall. From its beautiful decorations to its cheap shopping and yummy food, Now we're going to be going to the Skander Square, located in the heart of the capital city of Albania. It holds a rich historical significance that dates back to ancient times, named after the national hero, George Kastriyoti Skander Beg. We took Tigger with us so she could also enjoy the holiday vibes. This girl has witnessed the ape and flow of this country's history. Look at Tigger, she's already enjoying. In the classical era, the area now considered as Kender Bed Square was a focal point for trading. It served as a bustling marketplace where people from different religions come to exchange goods. I think there's a concert going on, so let's check it out. As time progressed, the square evolved into a central hub for political and cultural activities. There are a lot of decorations for the new year here. So guys, this is the Opera Bella Theater behind me. The concert was amazing. The air was filled up with music and the energy was contagious. People from all around gathered to enjoy and share the joy of music. The stage was lit up with the performers. The square was decked out in all its glory for the New Year celebration. The square transformed from a dazzling wonderland with festive decorations and creating a magical atmosphere. This giant tree adorned with beautiful different colored lights was amazing. The buildings around the square were adorned with shimmering lights and projections turning them into canvases of light. This square has become a hub of excitement as people gather around for different occasions. The decoration created a joyful and lively atmosphere with families, friends and strangers coming together to share the festive spirit. To be honest, it was like walking into a dream where everything glows and shimmers. There were swings and rides for kids to enjoy. For Tigger, this night must have been a roller coaster. That is the National Historical Museum.
so this is a public square and all the important stuff is around here so tomorrow we will try to visit it This is the Orthodox Autosopolis Church. This is the center of Tarana. There was this really big 2024 sign and it was a really good place for pictures. The new year decoration in Skanderbeg Square not only marks the beginning of a new year but also reflects the city's spirit of joy and unity. It's a time when people come together to celebrate surrounded by the historical and cultural significance of the square. The combination of the festive decorations and historical landmarks makes Skanderbeg a truly special place during the new year's celebration. This is a Trana City Hall and like every building, it is also decked out with lights. And right next to the Trana City Hall, there is the Atem Bay Mosque. This mosque is one of the oldest mosques in Trana. It holds a great religious importance for the local Muslim community. Constructed between 1789 and 1823 during the Ottoman era, it was built by Mola Bey and later finished by his son. And right in the middle, there's the clock tower. The clock tower has served as a timekeeping symbol of Tarana for centuries. The location in the city center makes it a key reference point for locals and visitors. Check this out guys, there were a lot of strolls. And guess what, there's also these handmade jewelry things. They're like treasure, they're made by super skilled people in Albania. And you can find necklaces, bracelets and earrings with cool symbols or colors. This is their traditional cap. Look at those models of the clock tower, they're so cute. Check out these awesome magnets, they come in a lot of cool colors and designs. Each one shows something special about Albania, like famous buildings or cool patterns. Or this cute picture of plants and animals, they're like little pieces of Albania. Look at the decoration. On the side, there is a lighting pulp. Let's go. This is the cloud, and it is also known as Reja. It's like a big metal cloud. You can go inside it, sit on the benches, and sometimes they even have events there. And it also lights up at night, making it super magical, as you can see. This is the place where art and technology meet. You can feel the creative energy of the city when you hang out there. It's like a mix of art, tech and the city's life.
The next morning, Tana was like walking up into a new adventure. The sun was shining and the city was breezing with life. We had plans to explore more cool places. The pyramid of Tana is like a big decision making hub for Albania's capital city. It's not just any building, it's where important decisions about the country's future happen. Trana's modern architecture is like mesmerizing blend of innovation and style. Walking around the city with buildings that have fancy designs, big glass windows and cool shapes, it feels like you're in a futuristic place where each building has a story about how Torana has changed and grown. The bright colors and creative design make the city look really cool, showing how Torana is keeping its old traditional while also moving forward in the future. It's not just about the buildings, it shows how the city is full of energy and excited about what's coming next. This is the arena center and it is the second tallest building in Tarana. Mother Teresa Square is really peaceful in the hearts of the city. Named after the beloved humanitarian Mother Teresa, the square has green plants, cool fountains, and statues that remember her. It is a place where people can think and remember the good things Mother Teresa did. The buildings around it are really cool, and the whole vibe is there relaxing. It's a great spot to take on a slow walk, enjoy the peacefulness, and remember someone really special. The Mother Teresa Square is like a little break from the busy city with a mix of beauty, respect, and some good feelings. This is how the cloud looks in the morning. This is how the city center in the morning looks. Where did the 2024 go? That was a place to visit at night for sure. That is the Tana City Hall. It was also lit up with lights in the night. This building is the Ministry of Agriculture. This building is so vibrant in colors and beautiful. This is the Top Tony Plaza. It was named after a historical guy, Top Tony. The plaza has shops, cafes, and places to hang out. The Friendship Monument is a symbol of how two countries can be friends. It's a special structure that shows the connection and good vibes between different nations. Just like when you and your best friend have a secret, handshake or something, your friendship is a monument. It's like a giant high five between the countries, celebrating their strong and positive relationship. It's a reminder that even though we are all from different places, we can still be friends and get along. So it's a big symbol for international friendships. This is the House of Leaves. We were deciding to go there, but it turns out it was closed. This is Downtown One. It is the tallest building in Tirana. And that is the Evergreen Tower. It is the fourth tallest building in the city.
After exploring the city in the daylight, we decided to go to the QUT Mall. The decorations at the mall are like walking into a magical wonderland, making everything feel like you're in a fairy tale or something. And guess what? The ceilings are decked out with this vibrant red color that adds an extra wow factor. It's like the mall is dressed up for the new year all the time. So when you walk in, it's not just about shopping. It's like stepping into a world of colors and beauty. The red ceiling makes everything feel warm and cozy. And it is also a great spot for shopping. It's a place where you can find all sorts of stores and have a blast with your friends. Look at this, it is so beautifully packed. It's like a giant playground for shopping. You can grab the latest fashion, check out gadgets, and maybe even treat yourself with some yummy snacks. It's not just about buying stuff. QUT Mall is basically the go-to place for mix shopping and fun. There are 5 chocolates in one package, that's cool. We found out that the grocery store also had a restaurant. There's a neat entry in the corner and it's not just any place. It's perfect for breaks and yummy meals after shopping. They have got fresh and tasty stuff. From quick snacks to big meals, it's a handy and tasty option for shoppers. Instead of just getting groceries, it's like a tasty surprise in your normal shopping routine. Shopping time, let's go ahead! Now let's go to the next country, Kosovo! Driving through the mountains on the highway was like a breathtaking journey through nature's masterpiece. The mountains on a way were like amazing paintings in real life. From the comfort of our car, we could marvel at the stunning scenery, majestic mountains standing tall on every side. This is the Cherish Kalmish Tunnel. It is a super long tunnel in Cherish, Albania, under the A1 Albanian Kosovo Highway. It is on the Southeast Europe, Route 7, and made the trip from Trana to Kosovo faster. Just 3 hours now instead of 8. The tunnel is 5,490 meters long, the longest in Albania. Toll boats were added in 2018, making A1 the first toll highway in Albania. Then we paid the toll which was 5 euro. As our adventure to Trana and Albania comes to an end, I can't help but be amazed by the beauty of the city and the country has to offer. If you enjoyed this exploration as much as I did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't yet, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new adventure. Remember, the world is full of wonders waiting to be discovered. So until next time, it's me, Aisha Waid, signing off.